Hello folks! Pixie here with some post commentary. Cause somehow my WAV my WAV file got corrupted, so I get to do post commentary. I always feel like I don't know, it's like the special features on like a DVD <laughs> when I do this. Alright, so what was I doing? I was creating stronger spells. Or I was assigning a spell, I guess. Something like that. Wait, I made enchant. Yeah. Yeah, that's more like it. You stupid bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why did I make enchant the quick spell? Whatever. Oh, I love past tense, don't you? Mm-hmm. So. Oh, I made our shield better, which is really nice. Mantrox shield is the bomb. A torn diary page has been placed. I found it! Ah! Let's see if I can read it. How slow did I read it? Let's see. Diary, with a shudder, my heart turned to ice. I came to the brutal realization that the entire order were heretics and that I was in incredible jeopardy. Who knows how long they had kept the dark secret, masquerading as custodians of the hand of Jude. When, in fact, they guarded a damnable relic. Blah, 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 blah. The essence of the unholy Uli off and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick, and despite my faith, I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I know that I... I know that I... I know that I... I know that I... I must have been making a joke or something. Must escape this place before they suspect me. My... Knowledge. I must warn the world and notify the real inquisition of their presence, knowing death is just around the corner and fearing every moment I commit these words of paper. Augustine will find this book. Alright. I will remove certain pages and hide them so that all of my fellow uh, might discover the truth before it is too late. Alright. So Andrew's kind of like, I'm gonna hide pages in hope that people happen to find them. And they're sitting out in the open, not really hidden. So anyone can read them, including the bad guys. I get it. Yeah, that's a plan. <laughs> I love it, the little purple fireflies. They look nice. You know... Uh... There's a big moral that this game teaches. I'm a whore. Um... See, that's how awesome- <laughs> I'm gonna get distracted. That's how awesome Mentorox magic is, is that when enemies attack you, Mentorox uh, shield attacks them back. And he does a great deal of damage, so that's very nice. Now oh, good that guy with the line, an effigy reclining on sacrificial altar, a deep groove dissects the chest. The monk's face looks almost exactly like the custodian. The inscription reads... Only when thy friend is sacrificed, when the cries fill the air, will the great doors to... To be open to the whatever. Mm. Alright. <laughs> I think at this point I was like, well, can I just stab him? Paul doesn't feel the need to use that right now. You know what the meditation rod might be for? I'm not sure if it's for health, it might be for sanity. Yeah, I don't know, though, I didn't use it. Yeah, I was like, what is it? If it's for health, maybe they just tell you you don't need to use it because you have magic. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> mm. I sure hope this backtracking leads me somewhere. Oh, lord, lord. Mm. Must have been looking at the arcane documents and treatments of the demonic arts. Paul Dyrant touched them for fear. Tight evil. Darent. That's a cool word. Abbreviation. Look, his head's at the wall. Paul, your head. Stick it or take it out of the wall. I don't know. Paul, man. Paul, Meister. You know I'm talking to you, Paul. <laughs> Those candles. How does he walk on them and they don't set his little his little cloak on fire? A blasphemous stride stretches the end of the room dedicated to the unholy blah 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 blah. It wasn't that important. <laughs> Alright. So, looks like we need some, uh, I don't know. I don't even remember what I did here. 
Just walk it. It is so hard to watch this, like, with no commentary or anything. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Caesar ain't looking at us anymore. Caesar Putin. Putin Caesar on the bus. <laughs> mm, Polly is so short. Alright. I guess. No. Must be looking for something. I, I know, I remember feeling quite desperate. Look at that painting up there in the wall. The cracked wall. It's like a little painting. <laughs> what? Can I get around that? No, I can't. We were trying to do that and getting frustrated. <laughs> Alright. Go through the door, ball! Mm. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe Halloween is, like, gonna be on this Saturday. This is, like, the last week. I gotta try and upload as much as I can. I don't think I'm gonna finish Resident Evil, though, in Halloween. There's such a... Sh Fucking clusterfuck right now of videos. Get prowl, you're so out of shape. Come on. Gonna go back to the bell tower, I think. How does that sound? That sounds bellerific. Mm. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. <clears throat> I'm like, Paul. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so out of shape. I'm tired. Mm. I have a bowl of potato chips next to me. I think the stained glass windows look pretty nice. Nice yeah, little detail there. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, god. Ah. I'm so tired. Crystal, yeah, make me feel better. Hi. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants mm. of his journal. And it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Oh my god. Aye, the cathedral's I dark hear. secret has been uncovered. I'm a pirate. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. Mm. He has covered his tracks well, claiming that the sacred relic, the hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. Mm. The hand of Jude never existed. Never! And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. The hell? I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. Yeah. It can only mean one thing. I'm a nice I too much. guy. <laughs> they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. <laughs> May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. For that's all you have. Yeah, well, thanks. Thanks for that, you, you, you custodian. So... I keep saying, <gasps> No, they're gonna get you, custodian. He knew he called it, though. Look at that ugly ass knife. So I keep saying that, um, the voice of Colonel is in this game. I'm like, oh my god, that guy who blew up <laughs> when he was talking, he was talking shit to Anthony and he got really excited, so he blew up into a bone thief. Um, yeah. I looked it up. It is Colonel. Paul is voiced by Oh that's funny. Paul is voiced voiced by Paul Eating or Eiding. Who did the voice of Colonel from Metal Gear Solid 2. That's funny. Paul does the voice of Paul. Quite nice. But yeah, like that voice is so you just know his voice. That was very recognizable. So we got a knife. So we go back. And you know what we're gonna use the knife? You know we're gonna use the knife. <laughs> we're gonna stab that dude in the chesticles. Chesticles. <laughs> of course all these Mentorok zombies are like, Oh my god. You wanna go, man? And I do. Chopper! 
Hmm. Trappers, you silly boys. Or girls. I don't know what you are. Trappers are funny, because, like, I think the game really presents them as, like, an obstacle, but they're not. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, they're not really an obstacle. Uh, they're just more of, like, an inconvenience if you get caught by them. But they're strategically really useful. They are, like, um, if you're low on health or sanity, you can just go, you can get caught by a trapper and then go and get, revive yourself. And the only, yeah, there's enemies, but I think the horror, because there's always a horror. What's that guy just doing hanging out in there? He's, like, waiting for a body. He's like, I can't open doors. My hands are giant blades. Yeah. So, oh, hold on, this is funny. So funny, right? <laughs> Hilarity. Oh my god! Ten points to Gryffindor. Uh, the monk effigy has been sacrificed and dagger protrudes from the deep groove within the chest. The echoes of his scream still reverberate in Paul's ears. Did he use that word? He's like, doth, doth reverberate my ears. <laughs> Probably doesn't speak English, actually. Or he might, I don't know. Ooh, look at that obstacle. Which I got really mad at because it was like I didn't <laughs> I didn't want to create the dispel magic to the um was it the power circle or whatever? Circle of power, the fifth or something? Fifth power or sixth power? I don't know what it was. Oh, okay. It's yeah, it's the fifth power. Um yeah, I didn't want to do that, so I got kind of mad. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to make this. Why do you make me make this? And in such a stupid way. Paragon. Uliath. Nexeroth. Red Gomor. Paragon. Uliath, I love you so much. Because you're so easy to understand. Yeah, like Uliath. Paragon. Bam! <laughs> I am recording sound, right? <laughs> that I can check at ease. But yeah, I got really mad. Like, that was stupid that that was just sitting there. It was like, just to make you have this. Oh my god, it's custodian! Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian. Paul's only ally in fight against the darkness. His soul, no doubt, lingers fused to the altar on which his life has been taken watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse feeling all hope escape him paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before now he is alone wait can the custodian just go to heaven or something alone against the darkness no i'm sure the darkness has him or whatever oh god clever man. Mm. thank you wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive Seek them out. Hmm. This is what you find. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. <laughs> irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Mm. Evil is mm. merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. Mm. Thank you. After we have broken your frail body <laughs> and mind in the name of our true lord, Chaturga. Cousin Tite. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel, and let us return to our preparation. <laughs> let us. This is actually really cute. I, I like this detail. Look what he does. He pets him. Is that cute? Also, you're dumb. That guy's dumb. He's like, oh, here's two bone thieves, and Paul's like, here you go. Let's do this. I actually said this. I remember saying this during the recording. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, not two bone thieves. Oh no. <laughs> I just 
kick their asses, man. I don't know, it's kind of funny to me that the guy's like, oh, fade on his flesh. It's like, do you do realize that we got this far dealing with other shit, right? Or were you just out that day? Because we've dealt with bone thieves, like, forever. And he's just like, oh my god, two of them! If you summoned a whore, and then you did, like, two bone thieves, then that would suck ass. But we could still deal with it. That's just funny. I don't know. It's like, this is why the darkness has a hard time, like, getting shit together. is because they're overconfident. Look at him. <laughs> Up and dar. Ah. Paul's like, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. You do that, Paul! <laughs> mm. Paul eating or eating. That's pretty cool. I don't know why I'm a geek. I'm like, oh, the voice actor and the actual character have the same name. Mm -hmm. I love that sound. Hawaii's and cabaret angles. Very nice. This door is decorated more than most within the catacomb, sensing an immense evil behind the door. Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Should Paul enter the thing? Yeah, yeah. And this is dumb. Oh, it's not dumb. Never mind. I thought it was dumb. Uh. Ah, yes. Open it. Yes, do it. Oh, my knife disappeared. I like that kitchen floor pattern. Hmm. Are shoes made out of like leather or something? Like leather bottom? Maybe. Just not the sound I would assume would hap uh, would uh, be produced on a tile floor. Click. Oh no! Hmm. It's a giant lobster! Oh, Jesus. Look at him. Raise your hands up. No. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, mm. is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in oh, terror at the sight of your mightiness. Mm. We will dispose of him ourselves. Er. This is kind of sad. <laughs> oh! There goes Paul. If I am to guard this place, then I will do it as I see fit. Be gone. Leave me. And I will guard the artifact as you have instructed. Okay. <laughs> They're having a stare off. I think Pius is winning. Uh, so sad. I don't want Paul to die, but Paul did. This this lesson, the moral lesson of this entire game is: no matter how small your contribution, it means a lot. She's like, oh my god, it felt so real. All right, so <laughs> I think actually this might be the end. I don't. Uh, I forgot how much time was in this episode anyway, but uh, my nose. Um. Sorry for this boring commentary, but you know how it is. I hope everyone's having a good day or night. And remember to stay beautiful, y'all. And remember, no matter what, a step forward is a step that you... It's a step forward. God, I, I'm so cool. <laughs> okay. Hold on. How much of this do I... 20 minutes? Am I done? I am done! Cool! Bye!